Hi guys, uh, welcome to the presentation. Today we are going to discuss about uh, glucose tolerance test. If you are new to this channel, please press the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified. Glucose tolerance test or GTT is conducted to check the ability of body to utilize glucose. The glucose tolerance test helps the doctors to define the status of glucose tolerance based on the plasma glucose levels at 120, 120 minutes. So the test can be performed in two ways either uh, oral glucose tolerance test or intravenous glucose tolerance test. Let's see how the test is performed. For oral glucose tolerance test, initially a fasting blood glucose sample is collected and then 75 gram of glucose dissolved in 300 ml of water is given orally. After giving glucose, blood and urine specimens are collected at half hourly intervals for at least 2 hours. The blood glucose content is measured and urine is tested for glycosuria. The resulting data points are plotted against the blood glucose concentration and uh, this type of uh, curve is called as the glucose tolerance curve. So for oral glucose tolerance test, 75 gram of uh, glucose dissolved in 300 ml of water is given orally. And uh, every 30 minutes the sample is collected and uh, glucose values are calculated, uh, the blood glucose levels are monitored. For intravenous uh, glucose tolerance test, the glucose is administered uh, intravenously over three, 30 minutes using 20% glucose solution. So intravenous uh, glucose tolerance test uh, is uh, given for those people who are having uh, issues with the absorption. So people who are uh, having issue with the absorption or uh, they have undergone any surgery like gastric surgery. So for those people, intravenous glucose tolerance test is preferred. So let's see the different types of uh, glucose tolerance curve. So the curve can be normal, decreased glucose tolerance curve or the increased glucose tolerance curve. In normal cases, the fasting sugar will be in the range of 70 to 100 uh, mg per deciliter. And after one hour of ingestion with uh, 75 grams of glucose, the blood sugar uh, will rise to 120 to 140 mg per deciliter. After 2 hours of uh, glucose ingestion, the values will come down to near normal uh, state that is 120 mg per deciliter or less than that. So this is the typical values uh, obtained for the normal glucose tolerance test. And if, if a person is having a decreased uh, glucose tolerance curve, then the fasting will be high, greater than 100 mg per ml and uh, after 1 hour of glucose ingestion, uh, the blood glucose will rise to greater than 180 mg per deciliter and even after 3 hours the values will still remain greater than 140 mg per deciliter. Such kind of uh, curve indicates there is a, a decrease in uh, glucose tolerance. In case of uh, increased glucose tolerance curve, the uh, fasting sugar will be much uh, lower than the normal and uh, after one hour of ingestion, uh, it may not rise uh, very high, it will be within the uh, 100 mark and after three hours of glucose ingestion, it will still remain in the lower level. So such kind of uh, trend is called as the increased glucose tolerance curve. The decreased glucose tolerance means uh, the decreased ability of the body to utilize glucose. The typical blood glucose levels for these people with uh, decreased glucose tolerance on GTT are uh, fasting greater than 100 mg per deciliter, one, of, one hour after ingestion of glucose it is uh, greater than 180 mg per deciliter and uh, 3 hours after glucose ingestion it will be still on the higher end of greater than 140 mg per deciliter. So the decreased glucose tolerance is seen in people with uh, uh, diabetes mellitus, hyperthyroidism, hyperpituitarism or uh, hyperadrenalism. So people with these uh, disorders uh, tend to show or the glico uh, decreased glucose tolerance curve. The increased glucose tolerance uh, means that the increased ability of the body to utilize glucose. In such people, the fasting blood glucose will be much lower than the uh, normal levels that is less than 70 mg per deciliter and uh, only a small rise in the blood glucose level may be observed uh, which not even cross 100 mg per deciliter mark. And uh, this is even after the administration of glucose. And in this kind of uh, people, you know, fl a flatter type of curve is obtained. And uh, the glucose will not appear in the urine. 
uh this type of curve is seen in uh the people with uh, the following conditions like uh, hypothyroidism hypoadrenalism and the hypopituitarism so that is all about the glucose tolerance test and the glucose tolerance curve hope you are uh, clear with this topic if you like the video please press the like button and share it with your friends thank you